This diary will contain all the topics that are necessary before advancing to the main subjects. So please listen and see carefully. Topic 5 Inductance. Please set these points in your mind. Inductance is a wire which is coiled. See this wire which is coiled. Second point. Zero resistance means that it will not oppose the current. Remember my statement. It will not oppose the current. What does inductor do in a circuit? To understand this, let us take two circuits. Circuit 1 without inductor. Circuit 2 with inductor. Circuit 1, let us take a voltage source of 2 volts. Now we connect 1 ohm resistor across the 2 volt source. As soon as we connect this 1 ohm resistor across 2 volt source, the current I flows through it. This current I is measured using emitter and instantly the emitter shows 2 amperes. That is as the 1 ohm resistor is connected across 2 volt source, instantly the uh, emitter shows 2 amperes. You can verify it using ohm's law as shown on the screen. Remember my word instantly it shows 2 ampere and it continues to show 2 ampere current this is very important now let us take circuit 2 with inductor let us take a 2 volt DC source we connect resistor of 1 ohm then you connect inductance and now we connect the emitter to complete the circuit now what reading we will observe on the emitter as soon as the emitter is connected in the circuit emitter will show some reading of current this is very important instantly this emitter does not show 2 ampere so what inductor does in the circuit it is not letting current to flow instantly in the circuit that is instantly 2 ampere current is not flowing in the circuit because of inductor current of 2 ampere will flow but it will take some time to reach 2 ampere so what is the role of inductor it oppose it is opposing change in current that before com the circuit was completed using emitter the current was zero and at the instant the emitter is applied in the circuit the current should have been 2 ampere but it is not 2 ampere dead instant it is taking some time to reach 2 ampere so I hope you understand the role of inductor in the circuit it opposes the change in current not the current it is opposing change in current that is why instantly this emitter does not show 2 ampere hope you get it now question arises how does inductor do this? From Ampere's law, a current carrying wire has some magnetic field intensity produced around it as shown in the figure. Now, again a current I flows through this wire. So some magnetic field intensity is produced and it is larger than the previous wire through which only I by 2 current is flown as you can see on the screen this we get from Ampere's law as we increase I H also increases remember this conclusion changing current implies changing magnetic field changing magnetic field recall from my previous Faraday laws lecture from Faraday law if a conductor is kept in changing magnetic field then EMF is produced across it now let's see how inductor follow Faraday law now let us take an inductor with the current I flowing through it now I will draw some part of this inductor with the black sketch pen and the rest with dotted pencil lines now see carefully due to this current I some magnetic field lines will be formed across the inductor as shown on the screen see this carefully the magnetic field circles are drawn with pencil now let us focus on this green color magnetic field circle it is linking with the other turn of this coil listen carefully similarly 
other magnetic field lines are linking with the other turns of this coil and the current is I now if the current changes to I by 2 or I by 4 the magnetic field lines intensity will be changed as by the Ampere's law so now we are getting changing magnetic field we also have a conductor so by Faraday's law EMF will be produced across the conductor I hope you got it now by Lenz law EMF is produced in such a way it opposes the cause here the cause is current because we are getting changing magnetic field due to what due to this current so EMF will be produced in such a way that it, it will oppose this current so the direction of this EMF will be such that it will cause the current to flow in the opposite direction now note this carefully so from point number 3 we can conclude that inductor comes into picture inductor shows its property only when the current changes remember this and if the current is not changing the current the inductor behaves as a short circuit short circuit means it is offering zero resistance that is it is just a straight conductor so what we conclude is inductor resist in the change in current remember the change in current now let's see circuit 2 again inductor here resists the change in current as soon as the circuit is completed using a meter the current should have flown but in e before connecting a meter the current was zero and after connecting the meter the current should have increased so there is a change in current that's why inductor comes into picture and that's why the emitter does not show 2 ampere instantly now i hope you got everything